You probably haven't even. I don't want to hear so this. All right. Very strange. I'm listening. For fuck's sake. On the surface, that sounds like a bunch of good things. One bad thing thrown in for flavor. And I'm very much stressed here on the surface because I have my qualms about representative democracy, even in its this most idealized form. This isn't good. It's static. What the fuck? At the heart of liberalism, individual freedoms, equality under the law, and capitalism. Listening to destiny. What good is that? So I'm at this place still. Creates inequality and undermines little, uh, individual liberty. You cannot have equality under the law when some people can afford to mount expensive lawsuits, keep defense lawyers on retainer, or lobby policymakers to tailor the law to suit their interests. Congrats, both you and Chevron have the same legal right to hydrogen frack without worrying about whether or not... Can you even hear that stuff law. that's going on over there? ...equality under the law in the strictest sense. It's not meaningful equality because it's designed to only benefit a select few people. The idea is that laws apply equally, but that doesn't guarantee that they represent people equally. Likewise, you cannot have individual freedoms when your ability to survive is contingent on whether or not you obey your boss, whether or not you can pay your landlord, whether you can pay for your groceries, your power bill, whether you can pay for your medication. The very nature of capitalism and commodity production are fundamentally at odds with your ability to live freely. The methods that look God damn, this is so fucking woke, dude. I love this type of political commentary. We should just get all of our goddamn shit for free. God, it's so enlightening. Holy shit. I never thought of it that way. You have to work? You have to fucking work for, in, to live in society? That's some bullshit. I've never felt more oppressed in my fucking life. Holy shit, this guy is fucking woke as fuck. I can't wait till we get to the part where everything is given for free and all the production and economic efficiency remain exactly the same in a centrally planned state. God, I'm so excited for that part. How woke, dude. Fuck. Wow, Destiny's so really lame. contradiction have failed time and again, and always will, because they're not actually interested in solving the... Speaking of failing time and again. <laughs> <laughs> but that was true. ...problem, which is capitalism, because that is fundamental to their world view. They believe that these systemic injustices are natural. And unsolvable. You probably so can't hear what I'm listening to, but that's just too bad for you. ...practices put in place by a vigilant state to keep the market in check. Amen, and that certainly seems reasonable when you compare it to the other solution that mainstream politics offers, which is, I don't know, fuck it, Weird. let's just do whatever we want. Oh, that's right, that's everybody. right. We'll make some money. Right, that's right. And let's yeah. not get it twisted. Sometimes regulations do a real good job. Sometimes they have a very positive influence. Like, for example... We don't use leaded go gasoline get this. anymore. Thanks, regulations. <clears throat> of course, leaded gasoline was only sold in the first place because it was profitable to do so. So in the absence of the profit motive, it's a problem that wouldn't have needed solving in the first place. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Please demonstrate how in any dumbass fucking system you have, people wouldn't be using fuck. How, I love, like, you want to talk about how capitalism has fuck problems? A fucking men, brother. There is some real dumbass fucking shit that exists within our fucking markets. 100%. This belief that all pollution and all bad things comes from capitalism is so stupidly fucking delusional. And every fucking conversation I've had with any fucking flavor of lefty has always had all of them abandon that fucking claim almost immediately when we start talking. Hey, you said that pollution comes from capitalism. Oh, yeah, 100%. Why is it? Oh, because companies are instead of buying pollution. Oh, do you think that like a workers' co-op might have like the same incentives? That you really need to vote to make their job harder? So like whatever. That oh, is. okay, I guess so. That was the next topic. Sneaky destiny. I'm already planning my next YouTube video again. So okay. Nice. But still, regulations did it. They fixed it. And I mean, sure, the whole process got tied up in the courts for decades because the only science on the effect of lead exposure in humans that these regulatory bodies considered as evidence was conducted by people who literally worked for lead companies. But you gotta give the system a little credit here, okay? It came to the right conclusion, and it only took 50 years of delays while thousands of metric tons of neurotoxic... How long did it take for the Soviet Union to collapse? Like 70 years Sorry, chemicals were pumped into the atmosphere for no reason, poisoning the entire earth. What were they supposed to do? 
People had only known that lead was toxic for a couple of thousand years. They, these regulatory bodies were on the cutting edge of modern ancient Roman science. And they've kept us safe ever since, which is why climate change is not poised to destroy the human race within, say, 10 years. And just look how seriously our leaders are taking it. Like, for example, there is... For the 1995, the post-Soviet countries were the world's largest consumers of leaded gasoline. In Russia, leaded gasoline had been completely banned by 2002. For comparison, in the U.S., it had been fully phased out by 1996, and in the EU, by the year 2000. Hmm. Communism leaves toxic legacy in Eastern Europe. Ban in mind from Romania and these waters, contaminated by heavy metals into rivers, a Hungarian chemical plant produces more than 100,000 tons of toxic substances per year. Soils of Eastern Slovakia is contaminated with cancer using PCB. None of this was real. None of this was real communism. Totally. One, one of my favorite things about political ideologies that exist only in books is that they're perfect. 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 That's my favorite thing about it. There's this recent crisis where the Amazon rainforests in Brazil were just burning down because the Bolsonaro administration is full of lunatics. And our leaders stepped up to the plate and boldly ignored it or didn't even notice. We're saved. We're honestly probably all going to die. I don't even know why I'm making this video. Liberalism sells itself as a means to keep capital in check. With democracy and regulatory agencies, we can leverage the power of the state to prevent richos from running rampant over everyone else. If you work within the system, you can affect change without the need for violence, without any of those messy revolutions that could backfire, that could make things even worse for you. Problem is, the richos have just as much ability to leverage that power against our interests which is to say they actually have a lot more power to do that because they can pay thousands of people to do it for them. They can fund entire political campaigns. They can bribe officials. They can bit by bit erode legal protections against cronyism and corruption and let everyone else exhaust their political capital trying to win them back. Not to mention, they're also signing your fucking paycheck. So how hard are you really going to fight them exactly? We can't progress forward under capitalism because there's always a dedicated... Wait, okay, I built so many blocks up. How do you get this achievement? I can't get it. How do you get the sniper achievement? Kill a skeleton from at least 50 meters away. I'm more than 50 blocks up. I killed a skeleton. I don't understand how you get this. Go to a desert? The Z axis doesn't count? I'm, it's why it has to be horizontal. What? 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 Dude, that's so far away. Dedicated cabal of rich ghouls trying to pull us backwards, and within capitalism, there always will be because our interests conflict with theirs. That's why large corporations and billionaires managed to take over all relevant political parties and carefully tailor their agendas not to interfere with the interests of the rich and powerful. All of the mechanisms that God, we so use to protect ourselves from the whims of the rich become recuperated and controlled by the rich. That is a feature of liberalism, not a bug. The purpose of liberalism, the reason an ideology theoretically underpinned on the idea of placing limits on the influence of the rich and powerful became useful to the rich and powerful, is that it functions as a mental filter, a way to place a limit on the possibilities one is able to imagine to combat injustice by presenting a comforting illusion of control. You can vote for a candidate that represents your interests. I mean, sure, there might not be one that represents your interests, but you can choose Whichever politician you like to vote for among the small pool of ones that matter, you're in control. Hey, are you concerned about the environment? You can buy the laundry detergent with the green cap on it, and it's got a picture of a mountain on it, so that's good for the environment. You're in control. Hey, are you worried about all the genocides your country is committing? Well, don't worry. You can write a strongly worded letter to your local representative. Thank God. Thank God. Communists and social protection have never been involved in imperialistic behaviors or genocidal behaviors. Oh, thank goodness. 
and a few months later, you'll receive a form letter saying that they take this issue very seriously, and also, they spelled your name wrong. You're in complete control. Now, what you don't want to do, what nobody wants you to do, is act outside of the system. That's brash. That's dangerous. There's no way to control that. That's not serious. God, this guy's so woke. Totally unrelated. Has anyone ever seen Fight Club? I love that movie. God, it's such an intelligent, it's such a good movie. It's such a good commentary on society. People think they have control, but really, they don't have any control, right? God, I love Fight Club so much. Sorry, it's not related to this song. Political thought? Real quick, I probably would agree, like, with most, like, any, any slow reform that works, I'm always in favor of. So if you think flattening hierarchies makes people's lives better or lets them keep more money or whatever, if you start slowly doing this in some factories and it, it ends up, like, empirically working, then I'm 100% in favor of that. And I hope that most people will be as well. Liberals are horny for the idea of gradual reform. You can't make too big a change. Who knows what will happen? All of the changes you make have to be incremental and easily reversible. And oops, wouldn't you know it, they got reversed by the next group of ding dongs in power. As opposed to socialists who want to take their minority opinion and violently murder everybody that doesn't agree with it. That's a way, that's a way better way to... Good for you, man. So stupid.